Consider the following IMO problem from the year 1975 and here is a view of this problem. We are given two sequences of real numbers x sub i's and y sub i's and they are also ordered uh, in a decreasing fashion and let uh, z sub i's be a permutation of the sequence y sub i's and we would like to prove uh, the following inequality so I'll just go ahead and expand both the left hand side and the right hand side of this inequality and uh, we will see if uh, uh, so writing if and only if statements so uh, let's see so the left hand side would be the summation of let's do it slowly so x sub i square minus 2 x sub i y sub i plus y sub i square and this is summation over i less than or equal to that's still something that we need to prove um, summation of x sub i square uh, minus 2 x sub i z sub i plus z sub i square and we can go ahead and uh, making use of uh, the properties of the summation su symbol we can just uh, split those uh, three parts and the three parts on the right hand side as well so on the left hand side we have summation over i x sub i square minus 2 times summation x sub i times y sub i and then plus summation of y sub i square over all i and still something we need to prove uh, summation over all i uh, x sub i square minus 2 summation x sub i z sub i plus summation of z sub i uh, squared over all i all i here well it's clear that the summation of x sub i square terms they just cancel and even these two terms do you guys agree that they also cancel simply because like we said earlier the z sub i's are just a permutation of the y sub i's so it's just a rearrangement of those um, so as a result those two also cancel so what i will do is next we can divide both sides by two the twos will cancel and we will just switch these two terms uh, and so this way we don't have to deal with the negative signs so therefore uh, we have yet another if and only if statement uh, but something significantly easier to prove we need to prove that uh, the the following uh, product some product if you will is less than or equal to uh, the oops come on the sum product i equals from 1 to n obviously from 1 to n of x sub i times y sub i but i claim that this is obvious which is true why which is true directly from the rearrangement uh, inequality by rearrangement uh, inequality let me just write it here and uh, you can find the statement uh, of the rearrangement in inequality for example on wikipedia if you will even the proof using uh, induction or simple uh, iterations uh, if you want let me uh, remind you of uh, the, the the statement and how this applies directly to our case which is uh, obvious once uh, you know that so uh, rearrangement so basically the uh, inequality again inequality so the main statement tells you that let um let a sub one uh, well it doesn't matter so um in this case because this is these are decreasing i will just write the statement similar to that so a sub one is greater than or equal to a sub two all the way up to a sub n and similarly b sub one greater than or equal to b sub two greater than or equal to uh, b sub n and also so this is important we have a permutation a sub 1 prime a sub 2 prime and so on a sub n prime uh, b a permutation a permutation of uh, of the sequence a sub i's right so a sub 1 all the way up to a sub n then Thanks to the rearrangement inequality, we have the following amazing result. So this is the rearrangement inequality again. So we have the following. We have that A1, the, the greatest sum product happens to be this one. A2 times B2 all the way up to AN, BN. This is greater than or equal to any permutation of AIs. A1 prime times B1 plus A2 prime times B2 all the way up to 
a n prime times b n and indeed this is in turn greater than or equal to shuffling it in opposite direction so a, a n times uh, b1 plus a n minus 1 times b2 all the way up to uh, a1 times bn so in terms of the sum products uh, the the largest uh, sum product is this one where you multiply the smallest in ai with the smallest in bi and the largest in ai with the largest in bi so this is the the max the maximum uh, sum product and this will be the minimum uh, sum product where uh, you multiply the the largest in one sequence with the smallest in the other sequence so remember how earlier we started with two ordered sequences so and so on and then if you just randomly shuffle those sequences then any they will fall in between these maximal and minimal boundaries so how does it apply to our case now remember earlier that our sequences uh, xi and yi are ordered and they go in the same direction so as a result, uh, this term here uh, on the on the right hand side here is this maximal term we have right here because the the terms match. The smallest um, element in the in sequence x i is multiplied with the smallest element in the sequence y i and so on, and the largest one is multiplied with the largest one. And clearly, any permutation uh, of the y i as a result, so which we, we change the order of these y i's and you, you multiply them randomly with the x i's, that would be less than, so just, it would be anything in between, so this thing, it will be equal to this middle term, and, and that's it, so that would be less than or equal to this expression, so this expression will definitely be greater than this, but because we connected each of these uh, with if and only if statements, that also proves this uh, initial inequality that uh, was to be shown and and that's it so hope to see you guys in our next lecture